this video, I'm going to quickly walk through the experience of protecting a Hyper-V virtual machine with Data Protection Manager, and then what that restoration process looks like. So to actually protect a virtual machine initially, we're actually going to go and create a new protection group. So I go to the protection workspace and select the new action. Here I'm going to select a server type of protection. I expand out my Hyper-V server. It's then going to actually go and check which virtual machines are actually available on this node and then which type of protection is available for them. So notice I have backup using child partition snapshot. This means an online backup. So this is a Windows 2003 or above virtual machine. It's all NTFS. It has the backup integration service enabled. There's no dynamic disks. Also, I see some that will say backup using a saved state. So maybe this virtual machine isn't running. Maybe it doesn't have the backup integration service. Maybe it's Linux. So I have two different ways. This is an offline. So this virtual machine would be saved during the backup, protected, the change blocks copied over, and then resumed again. So I can just select the virtual machines I want to be added. I can give it a name, Hyper-V PG2. I can also back up to online, such as Azure Storage. How long do I want to keep it for? When should I create this express full? So what granularity, what times do I want to be able to say, hey, restore from this point in time? It lets me modify my disk allocation. So for each virtual machine, there's the volume size for the replica, i.e. the most current view of the data. And then the recovery point volume is for those deltas, all the change blocks. So the longer I wish to keep my history for, and the higher the rate of change, the larger this replica point volume would need to be. But I can tweak these. I can say to automatically grow the volumes. I can say co-locate. So I don't need separate volumes for each of the virtual machines. I can co-locate it if possible. Do I want to replicate the VM right now at a certain time? Or don't do it over the network at all. Maybe I'm going to take a backup, put it on removable media, and then bring that to the DPM server. I want to automatically run a consistency check if the replica becomes inconsistent. So this is that block by block comparison of the source data to the DPM replica. I can force a daily consistency check if I wanted to. Do I want online protection? So because I selected yes, I have to select some of them. So I'm going to go back and say I don't want online protection. Summary and then I click create group. And it will then go off, perform that initial replication, and it's protected. And you can see I already have some protected here, and you could modify a group to protect additional machines. Now the restoration, I just go to recovery. Once again, I would expand out those protected virtual machines and select the one I want to restore. Let's say my SharePoint server. So I'm actually protecting this at the Hyper-V host level, so it's just a virtual machine. I can say when I want to restore it, only create those recovery points once a day, so I can say that time. And at this point, I could recover the entire virtual machine. And I could recover that to a network folder, specify it, and that's basically it. Or rather than recovering the entire virtual machine, I can actually double click it. I can actually start drilling down into the contents of that virtual hard disk file and do item level recovery. I could just restore individual files. But notice there's nothing in here that's SharePoint. The Hyper-V host, the DPM agent on the Hyper-V host has no way of knowing this is a SharePoint server. So I can't restore SharePoint items. I can only restore the VM or I can restore files from within the file system. Whereas that same server I'm also protecting with the DPM agent inside that box. And notice this looks very, very different. Now I actually knows their SharePoint. I can drill down, I can do item level recovery from SharePoint. So when you are making that decision, well, do I want to protect 
within the virtual machine and have that application level of restoration, that granularity or the host, this is really what it comes down to. Think about what you wanna be able to recover. If you want the recovery to be basically application aware, you need to be running the DPM agent inside the virtual machine. If you just wanna restore the entire VM or just restore files from within the VM, then backing up at the Hyper-V host is fine. In both cases, the VSS writers will still get called thanks to that Hyper-V VSS pass-through through the backup integration service. This was a really quick overview of the DPM with Hyper-V. Thank you.